Hey guys, and happy Monday morning to you. It's another day. It's another art day. Okay, guys, this journal right here is the journal that we are, this exact journal is the journal that we are constructing in the um, soul food class that I am teaching on Gene Oliver's network. So if you have not had the chance um, to go and take advantage of um, participating in that class, please do so. Um, I really appreciate the support. It is my very first paid class, and so I hope that you will choose to take that class with me. You can find that link in the bottom of the description box. And um, like I say, it is four and a half hours of content. We're going to create this journal right here from scratch. And then we also are going to do some art journaling and some conversations about vocals and um, all kinds of things. So I'm going in here with um, my pencil. And I just did some very quick... Um, journaling, messy, illegible, um, just things that may have been on my mind at the time. And then I'm going in here with some gesso and um, a paintbrush. So um, this journal is a different size. So it's tall and skinny. And I really enjoy uh, working in it. It's been fun. I think this is my third one that I've done for myself like this and so if you don't care a thing about making the journal and you'd like to purchase one you can also email me or message me on Instagram or Facebook and I can hook you up with one too okay so now I'm going in with the Lyra graphite on um, water soluble um, little stick here and I'm just wanting you know, y'all already know, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm just kind of allowing the energy, the mood, um, kind of take me where I want it to take me. And I will tell you, there was a point, okay, there's going to be a point in here, like, I'm like, there usually is always a point where I go like, holy mother of pearl, this is not working. And instead of giving up, where when I first started art, I would have given up too soon. And instead, now I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, you want to challenge me? Let me show you who's boss. I'm going to get in here and figure it out. And I did. And this is real time. This page really took me 11 minutes. I loved all of the um, weird spots where I'm looking for things and where I'm drawing it. I left it all in, I'm pretty sure. So this is a real-time 11-minute page. <clears throat> and my art is simply to encourage you <clears throat> and let you know it doesn't have to take a long time. I personally have many, many things um, that can take me away from my art time. But um, I choose to make time to uh, do art because it makes my soul happy. Now, this was an epic fail. I had this um, weird piece of plant <laughs> that I think I had used as like a photo prop or something because we're fancy like that over on Instagram. Just joking. I'm really not fancy, guys. Um, and it was dead on my workspace. So I tried it as a mark making tool and it did not work. It also, when I put down this um, color shift orange, my gut said, this is the wrong color. This is not, this is not making my soul happy. You got to get another option. So I grabbed my nickel azo gold by golden. It's a fluid acrylic. I am going to use um, water to kind of move and dilute um, this very bold bronze. What I do know is I love the nickel azo gold with a turquoise um, kind of color. So um, I was like, yeah, this is it right here. And then I just squished the pages together just to make some organic movement and kind of um, let it do its thing. You know, sometimes... And y'all know, we overthink the process and therefore we're trying to make it look good opposed to like really letting the color do its thing. So I think squishing the page sometimes allows it to do its thing without us um, manipulating or 
putting our own two cents worth in. And I'm taking my same paintbrush. I have not, I don't think I have cleaned it, which is kind of normal for me. Um, and so it's kind of making that white gesso a nice like beige color. And then I'm going in with the brayer. And I'm just brayering out everything to get it kind of, um, I don't know, the brayer does something to the paint that's partially dry that kind of makes it want to pick up and stuff. Hello, big arm in my way. And um, it's something I'm not sure you can create with any other tool besides the brayer. And we've also talked about this, that I don't wash stencils and I don't wash my brayer unless they are absolutely so gunked up, I just can't move it. So, um, it creates a lot of texture onto the brayer that then in turn takes texture onto the page. So, you saw me grab some Neo Color 2 pastels. Yes, Neo Color, no, not Neo Color. Okay, Neo Color crayons and new pastels. There we go, two different things there. And so I grab those and I'm just kind of putting them to the edge because as I'm drying, I'm looking and I'm, and I am like, hmm, wonder how this could be. What, you know, what kind of, do I want a focal here? I'm searching around my messy desk at the moment, just trying to see if anything really catches my eye. And then I'm going in with this beautiful light pastel pink color in a new um, Neo color to crayon. And I just love crayons. I just love the scribbles that I can make with the crayons. The great thing about the Neo color too is if I wanted to, if I had the desire to, it would also activate with water. I'm not going to do this, I don't believe, here today. But um, if I wanted to, that's an option to use that. I'm going in here again with my mechanical pencil. And I'm just loosely making some interesting scribbles and marks for none other reason that I don't know what else to do. So that's always my go-to move. So then I am coming back and I have put a little bitty um, drop of Luca's Payne's Gray Acrylic. And what I found, okay, in my little um, pause there, is that I found some words that um, just really was perfect for this page. And so I wanted to add some very dark um, elements that would create some visual, a visual pop, really. A lot of times, if you feel like your page doesn't have everything, that's everything, not not everything, but everything it needs. Then you, um, I would recommend a, a lighter color or a darker color, and that will create a moody um, kind of vibe that kind of brings the viewer into your world. And it really created the look that I wanted for the words that I'm going to add to it. And at this point, I don't think I have. Oh yeah, I did wet the um I did wet this paintbrush because um I allowed it to be wet and kind of watercolory with the acrylics by adding a little bit of water and it made that um paint's gray kind of have some values instead of being just so stark and bold against um those colors. So at one point I was worried how I was gonna pull this one out and then it just came together and now I'm deeply in love with how it looks. And you can see um, kind of the view at the very end um, when I went outside and took pictures. Oh, the colors are so rich and uh, it still brings me back to my snorkeling trip in Honduras. It's um, really the underwater like variations of colors. I don't know. That trip just really was an amazing trip, not only with great friends, but also with great textures and just visual stimul stimuli that you need to create um, some days. So, um, I thank you so much for joining me. You will see at the very end where I give you the pictures, you will see that I did go in and attach a... Um, 
a staple with a little bit of fiber that I do not show on the video. And that was simply because I was uh, walking out the door. I found this little giblet of fabric that was on the floor. And I feel like the universe wanted me to use it. So that is how Tiffany it comes up with stuff sometimes, guys. So the words I'm gluing on now with the Uhu glue stick are lay awake listening to the rain. And that is one of my favorite things. We have a metal roof on our house. And so I love listening to the rain come in. I always remember as a girl, um, the, just loving to sit on our front porch and listen to the rain with my dad. So it kind of brings back memories since he's no longer here. But um, just good times. And when I found those words, I knew it was meant for this page. So, I can't thank you guys enough. I, You know what? Every time that I put out a video, um, you guys always leave me such encouraging comments. And it really just makes me feel good. So, thank you so much. And for that one person who keeps giving me the thumbs down, that's okay. I'm still pushing forward. So, until next time, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe. If you're interested in my class, make sure you check the link below. And until next time, to. Hello.